can slow down and still make subtle, sustainable and consistent changes in your life, it just may look different. But one thing that sometimes stops us from slowing down is Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, I'm Shandice. If you're a subscriber, as always, welcome back. It's lovely to see you. Today, I'm going to be sharing a few things that I'm doing to prepare for the seasons changing. If you're in a space where you're maybe struggling or not knowing how to slow down, especially as we enter a space of shedding, like we're entering the fall, the leaves are going to be shedding, Things are gonna be shifting, the days are gonna be shorter, the sun's not gonna be out as much. And on this channel, as I said before, we exchange notes, which means that we share valuable information. Whatever we learn, everyone has something valuable to share. I truly believe that. I want this channel to be a space that you feel confident enough to leave a comment and to share your experiences because best believe someone is going to read your words and need those words. So, so let's talk about seasons changing. So this morning I drove over to my favorite coffee shop to get my vanilla bourbon latte decaf with almond milk. That's my order. Absolutely love it. So I thought I would treat myself to my coffee and get a breakfast burrito. And as I was driving home, I just was looking around and I realized, wow, the season is changing. I remember just a couple of months ago making the same coffee run and just seeing the beautiful trees just blossoming and the flowers and the sun just beaming through my car and burning my face. It was just so interesting to see how everything around me is changing. And not only that, everything within me is changing. I genuinely feel as if I'm in a space where my body, where my spirit is just saying, slow down. But one thing that sometimes stops us from slowing down is the feeling of maybe we're not gonna be productive or like not wanting to be lazy. But one thing that we can do, you can slow down and still make subtle, sustainable and consistent changes in your life it just may look different for example picture you wanting to work out or you wanting to lose weight maybe orange theory might not be what you want to sign up for in the fall maybe you might decide to do pilates obviously it's still going to be challenging but the movements are going to be a little bit slower you're still making changes you're still toning and strengthening your body it's just not going to be done in an extensive over exerting way so that's just one example so for me i've been thinking about the ways that i'm trying to improve my life over the fall without overexerting myself, also paying attention to what my mind, body and spirit need. A few things that I'm being intentional about doing. Number one is not taking on too much. So for me, I know right now the goal is not to do more, take on more, grab anything just to feel like I am being productive or purposeful. The goal for me is release. The goal for me is shedding being able to look at my life and declutter my life. Do I need to put some more of my clothes on Poshmark because I no longer wear them? Do I need to bring some of my clothes to Goodwill because it's just taking up too much space? Do I need to maybe declutter my office because I have books and papers everywhere? Maybe I need to shred a few things, right? This is a time of decluttering. And the reason why I think it's important to declutter is because the fall is typically a time of hibernation. And you wanna create a space that is going to truly feel peaceful and feel like solitude. Because if not, hibernation might actually turn into suffocation. Like if you're in a space that is not giving you life, that is not encouraging you and inspiring you, then it's draining you. So that's one thing that I am being more mindful of. Like I actually did put some clothes on my Poshmark yesterday, things that I just haven't worn brand new. And I asked myself, what is the purpose of you keeping these things if you have no intention of wearing them? And that can apply to so many areas of our lives. It's like, why are we holding on to so many things that aren't feeding us, that are in many ways just taking up space that could be better utilized in other ways. So that's one thing that I'm doing. So a second thing 
that I'm doing is I actually ordered a devotional. So I had a season where I just was over devotionals because I felt as if I just wanted to kind of like have a free flowing season with God that I would just like, Lord, lead me, guide me in this part of the Bible. Like, where should I be reading? Like, what should I be doing? But now I'm in a season where I do feel as if it would benefit me to have some type of structure. So I ordered Jackie Hill Perry's new devotional and I'm really excited to start that next week. So I thought that would be an opportunity to create subtle, sustainable and consistent change. If I can read a page every day for 60 days, because I think it's a 60 day devotional, that will be a seed. That will be an opportunity for me to then read more in that same area or to write more or just to be intentional about how I'm getting closer to God and just surrendering and being obedient. Just looking at the ways that I need to renew my heart, die to my flesh. So I'm really excited to start that devotional next week. A third thing that I'm doing is paying attention to where I am and what my unique needs are. So even though the seasons are changing and naturally as we get into the winter months, we are in hibernation, we're in shedding, we're in reflection and just taking that time out to sometimes isolate and be with ourselves even though I do still encourage, you know, having times with friends and those who fill your spirits because sometimes we can isolate ourselves so much to the point that it can be really lonely, you know? So if you do have people around you that you love and you cherish, still have that coffee date, still go for that walk with your friend and do things that are gonna light you up so you don't feel like you're alone. I'm giving myself the space and the time to just be present in my life, to ask God to help me, to lead me in the areas that I can grow, that I can do better, to know that, I am going to figure this out and to know that all is well, all is well. So yeah, those are just a few things I wanted to share with you all. I'm probably going to do another video where I bring you along for a day with me as I am living out how I typically spend my like more fall winter days. And I would love to know what are some of the things that you are doing to prepare for the season change. I look forward to sharing more throughout the winter and just finding a healthy rhythm. So I will see you ladies in my next one. I hope you have an amazing rest of the week. Take care.